I'm Rob, I have brick and mouth syndrome, but I absolutely, passionately do not want you guys eating tins of tuna at festivals ever again. No. Done. Well, last time you saw me cooking stuff, I bodged together a makeshift oven out of tin foil. But since then, I did some searching on Amazon. I found this little beauty. Um, little camping stove. Cost me 30 quid. So, over the next few videos that are going to be coming out, this is probably incredibly loud and ruining the audio, you're going to be seeing what this thing can do. Very loud. It is an incredibly quick setup. That goes there. little bit finicky as you can tell but uh, yeah so that goes there this little camping stove boom so we're gonna look at what this does and what we can do with it it says it's a wood-burning stove um, probably is but what I figured out if I remove the wood holding tray on there, I can stick that on top of a disposable barbecue. And all the heat will just rise straight up. I am not good at product reviews, as you can tell. So, let's see what this can do. We're filming the little video for the oven that's down there in between us now. <laughs> Still getting a bit used to this new film and setup. Two new cameras, quite cool. I can see the flicker from this light on my face. That's going to be a problem if that's been filmed the entire time. Arr. But yeah, we're just waiting for this stuff to uh, finish coming together. And, uh, yeah, we'll update you as soon as we can. It's not really much to do, so we're working on some other video prep. Hopefully we can get some more cooking done today as well, because you guys seem to like these cooking videos. I suppose I see why eating tins of tuna is miserable. Well, you took your crusade on the tins of tuna. Go for the real victims. Go for the real villains here. Well, Greg's not coming to download. No, the beans. Oh, you beans eaters. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah, we'll see how this comes on. This oven is pretty tight. There's some issues with it. Like me fumbling around trying to undo it while that barbecue's under it. And this is supposed to contain wood that you're supposed to set on fire. Um, I don't really see that as a possibility. That would be incredibly awkward. You'd have to have it open constantly and just keep topping it up, but then it would burn too quick. So, who knows? It's a good idea. It's a good little thing. And it's working for what's in there. The sausage rolls are cooking. Moist pastry is cooking. But the other two things on top, the pasta bake and the cookie skillet, we'll see. They might have to get poked inside in a little bit. But hey, I'm not cheating, I'm not going into saws to work the oven. Everything is being done on that thing. Let's check back in when it's done. Right, um, we've had to do the second Barbie. There we go. But we are still getting used to this thing, so it's kind of to be expected. But the sausage rolls at this point, I will say, are basically done. We've just got to really brown that off, haven't we? Yeah, I'd say so, so once the other side's done on that, um, yeah, make sure you flip your sausage rolls. And a barbecue, come on, really good, to be honest. I'm fine because I'm not the one that's going to be eating them. You're yeah. trying to make. She's not risking a food poison because it's actual pork meat, so we'll see. Back under some light that's flickering and making me look weird. Yeah. Actually, quite a good bit of kit. It's just a learning curve for it. We'll get there. We'll get there. As I'm looking through to pick this up, I'm seeing that pasta bake finish off in this oven. And that is honestly. One of the sickest things I've ever seen. Sup?
product review of this oven. Today we've cooked three things on it. Videos coming out in the following days. But this little beauty is amazing. I mean, it's kind of awkward the way we were doing it and it's, I'm worried a bit more the way you're supposed to do it by loading wood into the bottom. So I'm a bit concerned because that heats this up. It's all metal. There's no heat proofing on this whatsoever. So brilliant little piece of kit. Mine, minor minuscule damage on that which will be easily cleaned off before we take that out. But yeah, as far as a piece of kit goes, for £30 next day delivery on Prime as well. This is well worth it. It's a lovely thing, a beautiful little front loading oven. £30 is worth it if you're doing festivals and going camping a lot. If you're not, I would not advise it. Uh, the tin foil solution I had is not great, it's not for everyone, but it does just about work if you're using it as a one-off. This is definitely a longer term investment. There are other models available. There was a £40 and a £50 one as well, wasn't there? Um, they seemed to be the same thing. I couldn't see a difference in them when I was buying it, so I just went for the £30 one. But ultimately, definitely worth it. We've done cookie in a skillet, a pasta bake, and sausage rolls. It took a little bit of shuffling around. We're putting that down to how we did it with um, the barbecues. But otherwise, very good piece of kit. How would you rate this, hun? Well, I think just for what it did and how much it cost, I'm giving it a solid, like, nine. I mean, it's a bit awkward, but it's intended for camping, so... Yeah. I, I'll give it an eight, because I was the one handling the heat of it. Um, I'm a bit more used to it, but even I was concerned with the heat, and I'm seeing little bits of charcoal sticking to it here. Because, to cool it down, I did just pour water through it to get the coals underneath. Probably wasn't the smartest idea. Probably, there isn't a manual to tell you how to do it, ultimately. This is a pretty good thing. If you can, if you can afford it and you're going to use it often, get it. It's just going to improve your cooking at camp so much more. And it comes in a nifty little carry case, so you can't whinge about that, can you? It just folds up and pokes in. Brilliant. Measurements will be on the screen for how big it is if you need that for that. But yeah good kit. So watch the next videos to see what we do in it. Sweet!